Namaste. All right. We're going to start seated and just activate the hands a little bit. One of the things that we're activating with the hands are the energy pathways of the hands, acupressure points and nerve connections and all the tissues and the bone and all that good stuff. An area of the palm, right about the lifeline between the index and middle finger, coming down through the middle finger is a pericardium. That's a heart protector um, meridian system and um, coming in through here, lung, and heart and this area here is a very powerful healing um, place. You know, when we bump our knees and we, you know, we console and caress somebody. That's really sharing energy of the heart. So let's um, just for another moment, let's activate the energy of the hands. You know, and then on the top there are other acupressure channels and whatnot going on. So let's go ahead and relax your hands. I place them palm facing up, you know, just depending, you might even be standing instead and just rest your arms at your side. Just feel for a moment, just feel inside your body. Feel the breath rising and falling. It might already be calm, smooth, slow and deep. You might discover that your breath is high in your chest and rapid, stressed out. You might find it somewhere in the middle, somewhere in between, healing and resting and being active, engaged. Wherever your breath happens to be, just for now, just tune in with your breath. Just feel it. As your chest inflates and deflates. And if we can invite this breath to drop a little deeper to the middle section around the solar plexus. Just letting this area squeeze gently on the exhale and expand gently on the inhale. And then invite the breath to drop a little deeper into the belly as if your lungs were in your lower abdomen, allowing for diaphragmatic movement, greater range of movement, lymphatic circulation, drawing the breath slower, lower and deep into the body. Signaling to the body that we're safe, signaling to the mind that we are safe in this moment. It's okay. Even though the world, life itself might not be okay at this time, there's always a place where we can be okay. Just let your breath Draw slow and deep into the belly. And if you can breathe in and out through your nose, breathe through your nose. If you need to breathe through the mouth, breathe like sipping through a straw, through pursed lips. And as you're seated, you might adjust yourself and you might rearrange your legs and you might place your feet on the ground instead of sitting cross-legged. Just free at any time to adjust the body and even let your body sway a little bit. Free at any time to make adjustments. Just let that breath continue to inflate and deflate in the belly. Let your belly expand on the inhale, sipping the breath in, lower into the lungs. And gently squeeze in the belly and releasing the breath, letting anything that's no longer needed in the system to release. And as you bring your awareness into your belly, into your breath, even if your breath isn't all the way, the way down into your belly yet, Wherever it is, just 
bring your awareness onto your breath. And notice that the mind has a new job to do. Pay attention to the breathing, the sensations of the breath, filling the breath from the belly up as the belly expands and lastly the chest, squeezing the breath gently from the chest down, squeezing the chest, the middle section and the belly to release the breath. Signaling to the mind, the body, the nervous system that it's time to heal. We are safe. It's time to rest and recover. Even beginning to rejuvenate. As the body regenerates itself moment to moment, allowing this to be happening with grace and ease, smooth and naturally. There's no need to know what needs to happen in what order. Focus my mind, my awareness, my attention on my breath. As I draw my breath slow and deep into the belly. Just allowing things to settle and to shift. As my energy, breath mind and body begin to syncopate, begin to unify. I find myself here. I am here. I am here and they are here with me. I am here in this place. I'm safe. I am here in this body. I am vital and well. I am here in this heart. I am loving. I am open. I am full. I am here with this mind. I am aware of the thoughts in my mind. I am here with this mind in this consciousness. I am that is aware of the thoughts in the mind and the sensations and feelings in the body. I am here in this moment, this present experience, anchored, rooted, grounded in this body, in this moment, in this time. There's nowhere else for me to be. I honor my choice, take sanctuary, respite for myself. And as I do so, the rest of my life is served. I am here with this intention I establish clarity of mind and purpose. I establish purity of heart and awareness. And in this process and journey, every day in every way, I, we are growing healthier, stronger, better, and wiser. And whether you're standing or seated with your feet on the floor or cross-legged, just point your hands at your feet and breathe in, exhale first. Breathe from the feet, the legs up into the body. All the way up into the head to the crown. Exhaling from the top down, squeeze it out. all the way down to the feet, into the earth. Breathe from the earth up. Calling the sky down. Your breath might be shorter. It's okay, take a few breaths. Do what you need to do. And 
that release and cleanse. Ah. Just let me raise the hands in front of the heart space. One of the postures for the heart. The one we use for Yu Ding. For the turning inward, the looking inside. All I need is inside of me. As I move closer into my center, is what allows me to expand out. Take a moment to connect with your heart space. In a moment, we'll begin to move into healing place mudra. Move into some mudra meditation hand posture sets that help to activate the energy pathways. And help to establish intentions, awarenesses. I'll be your mirror, but it's okay if you end up doing the opposite of what I do. The energy is moving in all directions at all times and all ways. It permeates us, it surrounds us, it flows through us. Just let one hand float down and the other palm float to the top, holding the ball, beautiful energy. Connecting with the heart. Now let it float down. As we gently bring the fingers together and gently cup the palms as if we're going to scoop some water, take a sip from our hands. As the upper hand floats down, let the lower palm go fairly deep into the lap. And then bringing the eye connection at the thumb, right about at the belly button, or kind of like your upper waistline as if the hands were resting right in between the hips or so. The area of the sacral chakra, Chinese call the lower Dantian. Just by breathing into my belly, bringing my awareness to my breath and the placement of my hands near my belly, I begin to harmonize, begin to unify stabilize, connecting now with the energy of vitality, nourishment, nurturing, care. And as the arms create a circle between the hands and the throat, the heart begins to circulate. Just imagine that your breath releases through your upper palm and is received in the lower hand. Breathe in, breathe in from the lower hand up the arm, across the throat and heart, down the upper arm, upper palm, and out the hand. And if that's confusing or distracting, then just focus on your breath into your belly. It's happening anyway created a pathway, a circuit, a connection. It's beginning to replenish the well, the sacral chakra, seat of vitality, one of the seats of embodiment. As the root, whether we're seated on the ground, whether our feet touch the ground or not, there's a golden root that connects from our perineum, the tailbone area, connects to the center of the earth, feel us in the form of gravity. So let this rooted foundation support me. As I draw energy up from the earth and it flows into my belly. And as my breath and my energy circulates through my hands, 
energy begins to build in the space in between the hands. Like a generator, just like a turbine. It begins to flow into the belly, it begins to fill the bowl, the pelvis and the hips at the bottom of the bowl, the root chakra. Just above that, the bottom of the sea, or the bottom of the sacral chakra. Just right, just a little bit below the belly button, between the hips and the center, lower ab abdomen. Begin to full, fill this pool, this receptacle, with a radiant, vibrant light. Now press the palms gently together and lift the hands. The fingertips pointing out at a slight diagonal, namaskaram. One of the postures we might use for the greeting namaste, like a prayer position. I'm just letting that energy flow through my legs and if I need to roll my shoulders or flex my spine or move my head or twist, move in any way, readjust my legs, I'm free to do so at any time. Eventually we'll be able to hold the postures without building tension or strain. But we might be able to breathe through those areas and breathe with those areas. But it's also okay to adjust the physical body. And the fingertips to the sky. Push your left hand against the right, rolling across, aligning with the right side of the body, right palm facing the shoulder, left hand diagonally across the body, left arm, palms aligned, connecting the six channels, energy pathways leading to and from the fingertips. Posture one, Sankapla Mudra, establishing an opening establishing intention, unlocking the four gates, the four directions, the front, the back, and the sides. Opening up now the front right quadrant. in our energy body. This is the I am here. I anchor and root myself into this body, into this moment, in this place. I am here on the earth, I am supported. And the support from the earth rises up as a body temple, as a golden pyramid. all the way up to the peak, to the crown of the head. I can adjust my arms at any time and just breathing slow and deep into the belly, adjusting my legs at any time I want to. And if you can, if you are able to breathe in and out through your nose, breathe slow and deep through the nose. If you need to breathe through the mouth, breathe like sipping through a straw through pursed lips. Slowing down each inhale, each exhale. Eventually at the same time, you could place the tip of your tongue in the soft palate to the roof of the mouth. Just rest your tongue flat against the hard palate. And unlock. Position one, fingertips pushing to the sky. Push the right hand against the left, rotating center, and then continuing to align with the left body, left palm facing the left shoulder, aligned with the left side of the body. Right arm diagonally across the palm. So you can see that the diagonal arm is on the inside. And then position two. Continuing to connect with the four directions. 
continuing to open the four gates of our energy body, now opening the front and left panel as if it were one side of a four-sided pyramid with the front edge directly in front of the center line, and the back behind us to each side. Breathing slow and deep into the belly. And then lock position two, fingertips to the sky. Push the left hand against your right, rotating center. And then bring your arms parallel to the ground. Anytime you bring your elbows in closer or further out, you can adjust your body at any time that you need to. Now pushing the left hand against the right, rotating and aligning once again with the right side of the body. Right palm facing the sky, left hand on top, arm diagonal across the body. Imagine this opening the back right side of this golden pyramid, the root chakra, deep base foundation supported with the earth, moving into the earth itself, the belly, the sacral chakra, the ocean, the rivers supported by the beautiful earth, filling, replenishing this well of vitality flowing to and from the toes and through the body and to and from the fingers through the body, to and from the head, the crown, the tailbone and back again, flowing easily, gracefully, moving into harmony, alignment, balance. Focus a breath on the belly. Imagine your breath rises up from the earth below you through this golden root, through the legs, into the tailbone, and perineum area, rising all the way up into the crown. Continues as a golden thread to the heavens, to the sky. And as you breathe out, breathe down through this golden thread, through the crown, through the legs and through this golden thread, this golden root into the earth. Now pushing the right hand against the left, rotating center and continue to roll, aligning with the left side of the body, left palm facing the sky, right hand on top, arm diagonal across the body, adjusting yourself in any way that you need to. Now opening up back, left, quadrant, side, golden triangle, one side of a golden pyramid, we seat ourselves in this body temple, grounded and rooted into the earth, a deep, wide, rich base, foundation, rising into the belly, seat of vitality, this ocean and river, this life-giving 
energy, nourishment, nurturing care, rises into the third chamber, the solar plexus, a radiant sun, rivers, the fire, passion, flowing up into the heart, great ocean of love and light, this golden throne room, flowing up into the throat, seat of expression, free to express and to be, to create. Rising up into the third eye, to the center of the brain, a golden glowing ball of light with a brilliant white pearl in the center, divine wisdom, intelligence, knowing, seeing, hearing what is true, rising to the peak, the crown, hovering above the peak, this golden temple is a golden halo golden crown, a golden funnel, this ball of golden light hovering above the head, just kissing gently the very top of the physical head, this guiding light, this beacon glowing. And just return the hands to the center and with the fingertips to the diagonal to the sky with the left hand on the bottom right hand on the top and it works both ways so if you feel more comfortable with reverse of that then do that returning once again to healing place mudra breathe into the belly and this beautiful energy flow smoothly easily you don't need to know where and how it moves. You can become aware of that over time, but it's not necessary. It's happening anyway. And just allow this receiving to occur, the surrendering into myself, into this experience. I have chosen to be here. There's nowhere else I could be that would serve me better. I am here. I am here now. I am body. I am life. I am heart. I am soul. I am love. I am consciousness, awareness. I am light. I am the energy that permeates and flows through my body and around my body is this drop of golden fluid that swims in this great eternal ocean of light, of love. I let my mind be soothed. I allow my mind to let go what thoughts seemed important. I let my mind be cleansed and soothed and calmed. I let my awareness move into my body, aware of my breath, aware of my beautiful heart. And as I draw my attention deeper within, as if moving into portal, 
an opening that expands into the universe. That as I tune inward, as I look inside, I expand, I encompass, I merge and infuse with all of creation. I am life. I am love. I am light. I am energy, being unified in this moment. And then just place your hands on your belly now. <clears throat> Bring your elbows back a little bit, letting the heart open up, chin tucked a little bit. And, you know, always you can adjust yourself and you can even place your palms on your knees or your thighs, and that's very grounding to have your palms placed downward. Palms faced up is kind of open to receive, is kind of expanded. If I need to ground, I can ground just by placing my hands on my belly or my lower body somewhere, and then just breathing into my belly deep. For now, if it feels good, it feels right, we're just going to let this beautiful energy continue to flow into the sacral chakra. And as this energy flows into the sacral chakra, it begins to flow up and down the spine and through the limbs and through the head, washing the crown, cleansing the head, soothing our feelings, our emotions. And it's okay to have a sigh of relief. It's okay to let go of what seems so hard. It's okay to let that soften. Let's allow this beautiful divine intelligence, this divine love and energy to flow through my body. It knows where to go, it knows what to do to increase where there is too little, where there is a block, a stagnation, a terror, something that was yet undeveloped, begins to fill, connect, becomes full and whole. Areas where there is too much, like a dam where it built up and it was overwhelming and it was too much, that block begins to dissolve Stagnations released. That beautiful energy flows to where it's needed the most in this moment. As I become one with myself, as I embrace the things that seemed like they didn't belong to me, the things I was afraid of or ashamed of, I gather myself fully here in this moment. I embrace all that I am, all that I have been or will be is welcome here. And if your legs are crossed, you might release them and let them touch the earth. You might even stand if you like, if your feet aren't already touching the earth. And breathe out through the feet. Imagine the breath going out. Imagine the breath drawing into the feet, the legs up. Filling from the belly up, squeezing from the top down, exhaling all the way out down through the feet. Breathe from the earth and the feet up. Breathing from the sky down. And if you can't take a deep breath, just take several breaths. It's okay. One more deep breath if you can. Gather and release. Cleanse. You can stay seated if you like, or you can stand up for a moment. And just feel your body supported on the earth. Feet about hip width apart, 
maybe wider shoulder width apart if you like to have slightly wider, more stable base. And that same golden pyramid body temple that we were seated in is still present, rising to the third eye, to the crown, the peak, extending to the sides, the edges of the pyramid, extending to the front and the back, edges of the pyramid. Four golden triangles, sides of the pyramid, extending the front right, the front left, the back right, the back left, leaning in, connecting at the crown of the head, the brilliant sun, golden ball of light, a beacon, shining above the crown. Feel the deep, rich, wide base, the base of this pyramid. I can imagine that I'm standing like a mountain. The mountain extends deeper than the surface of the earth, what is visible. Right? This deep, rich earth connection. I am here to be me. I am here to be life. I am here to be creation. There's nowhere else at this moment I have chosen to be. If you're seated, you could just do this with your feet on the ground, lifting one heel at a time. If you can, clasp your hands behind your back, one into the other, just like you're holding your hands near your lower back, or the back of your rib kind of in towards the kidneys, lifting one heel at a time. I also do this seated in a chair at the edge of my bed in the morning sometimes, before I even get up and start moving about. Let's begin to pump my body, pump my blood as my Breath pumps oxygen and energy through my system. Connecting with the earth, allowing that to flow up my legs. Even if I'm still cross-legged, I could just shift side to side from one hip to the other, one sit bone to the other. I do that as well sometimes my stillness meditation or when I'm coming out, I do some things before I get up. Please allowing for flow and balance between activity and stillness, between the external world and the inner world, between doing and being. I become grounded and rooted in my body, the more my mind rests and seeps into my body, my breath, my belly, allowing for that part of me that knows without thinking, that intuitive whisper, spirit and soul guiding from behind the scenes, the subtle, gentle voice. allowing myself to move into that state of centeredness and stillness and groundedness. And then I'm able to take that with me into the world so that even though there feels like a hurricane that I can be at the eye of the storm, I can be in a state of calm, centeredness, focused awareness. And I can take my beingness into my doingness with grace and ease. And slow it down. You may have already stopped. Might have already been enough for you. Shaking out the wrists and fingers. You might step back and forth or shake a leg. 
I do that on the edge of my bed a lot of times. Sit on the edge of my bed and just wiggle my feet, wiggle my ankles. Okay, good. Once again, adjusting breath. Just this, these three deep breaths, and even if they're more shallow than they could be, eventually they become deep and full. And I practice my three deep breaths every day, several times a day, dozens of times a day, so that my mind, my energy, my body, my nervous system begins to recognize what's happening. And that just by taking three deep breaths, I can return myself to this groundedness, the centeredness, to the eye of the storm, to the place of peace and calm. Exhale. <sighs> Gather. And release. <sighs> Imagine energy from the earth coming up to the legs. Imagine the energy from the heavens, the sky pouring down, the cosmos received in the body. I lost count. Let's take another breath. And you, Dean, tuning inward, looking inside. Moment of stillness, awareness. Just feel breathe and be. And if your arms are tired or you prefer, just relax your arms at your side. Let your body begin to sway and move, whether you're seated or standing, or even if you were lying down, you could rock yourself gently side to side. Just that this grace, this beauty, this gentle, inward awareness find itself. more deep breath and chi up clapping the hands together once again activating the heart of the palm lao gong the energy of the healing hands and now I place my hands over my eyes and just gently Brushing across to the temples and the head, and maybe down the back of the neck, brushing across the shoulders. Down the shoulders, behind the shoulder blades, down the arms. The tapping feels good and feels right very gently. Slightly tapping down the center line, down the waistline, down the floating ribs, across the upper shoulder and pec area. Down the legs, when you get to the knee joints, side to side and front and back evenly, you can do the hip, quad and groin as well evenly on the knee joints. And if you can reach down to the ankles and the th uh, calves, and the top of the feet, go ahead and, ah, all right, one more deep breath. Beautiful. Namaste. She, 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 ni. Thank you.